This is where most people get a view of the tour vans on the European tour. We are getting inside the European tour Titleist tour van. We're going to get shown pretty much everything and we're going to do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. I've got loads of awesome, unique golf related content coming for you guys, and I really don't want you to miss it. Today is a special day. We are getting on the Titleist Tour van. I'm gonna get shown the ropes. I'm gonna get shown what players want, what they don't want. And guys, I want you to comment below. What are you looking forward to seeing most on the Titleist Tour van? Is it the Scotty Cameron? Is it the Tour Wedges? Is it the new TS range of drivers? That's enough talk, let's get on there. Okay guys, we're here, we have made it to the Titleist tour van. Let's get inside, I'm meeting Ryan. He's gonna show us around the soft goods part and then we're gonna have a tour around the on-tour workshop. Let's do it and let's do it now. Okay everyone, we're now here on the Titleist tour van. I'm here with Ryan. Ryan's gonna show us around the first part of the van. Ryan, what do we want to see? So, first and foremost, the first thing uh, the guys will do when they come here, they'll pick up uh, balls and gloves for the week. So, um, as a general rule, it'll be three dozen balls, four gloves, and that'll get them through a couple of practice rounds pro out, and yeah. hopefully the tournament data for playing well. So, they'll come over. We'll nice. give them either Pro V1, Pro V1X, whatever their preference yeah. is. Do you do much AVX? For the we don't players? We don't have any yeah. AVX out on tour at the minute. Between the models we have here, we... Yeah. we People are happy with what they've got. Correct, yeah. So we've, we've got enough options. Um, then we've got our gloves up here, so they'll get four gloves. So we have three different options for them there. Um, once they've got their balls and gloves, we'll, we'll offer out some headwear. So we've got lots of different headwear yeah. for lots of different needs, whether that's adjustable snapbacks, visors. Um, whatever they need. Especially um, this, this week's going to be woolly hats and... We've done a lot of woolly hats. I'll show you the woolly hat drawer which has taken a hammer in. So, um, normally this is all completely full of, of yeah. beanies, mittens, rainwear, as you can see. It's been, uh, <laughs> it's been, been one a of those weeks. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much what we got up to. There's um, shoes, if guys have pre-ordered shoes. Uh, we've got some here for Brett Rumford, some for Eddie Pepperell. Um, Chris Wade needs to come and get his as well. Yeah, he knows about them. He Does knows it? they're here, so he's, Chris can uh, come and get them. He's got a pink Fiat 500 this week, you know. So pink when, Fiat when he comes, I'm just asking how the car is. Get a photo of that for me, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so they pick up balls, balls and gloves. Uh, and, uh, and are there any particular favourite shoes on tour? Do people Pro SL? Pro yeah. SL's number one by a country mile. Yeah, it's um, fantastic. Been somewhat the beast for us. It's uh, yeah, it's yeah. the number one model most played on all of the tours. So yeah, it's uh, it's a great product. It's nice to have. And, you know, when we when we had Tour S, which is one of the most technologically shoe, yeah. technologically advanced yeah. shoes we have. It's, uh, it's a great lineup. We're, yeah. we're very fortunate. Okay, very good, cool. You can see here we've got some nice. How you doing? Comfy, Are you okay? comfy places How you to doing? sit, have a coffee, chill out. How are you? How is everything? Okay guys, I'm just going to go and have a word with Carl in the tour workshop and see what goes off in there. Okay everybody, this is Carl. Carl, can hey, you how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Okay guys, so Carl is going to give us a little bit of a tour around what we call the tour workshop. It so is, yeah. we're now on the tour van. This is basically a factory on wheels, Carl. It is right? exactly yeah. that, yeah, okay. exactly that. So basically the truck is split into two sections in here. This side we look after all of the irons and wedges, and the other side, which in a second, is where we look after all the metal. So currently working a lot on TS over that side, but if I just show you a few bits and pieces, yeah. this is the most exciting draw of the lot, I think. All the wedge heads there, so we've got the current SM7 oh. range in there. Um, this one here is the, the raw finish, which is the rusty one. Yeah. And then this side is where we keep the tour chrome, so that's the finish that won't go rusty. 
So, so are these all ordered, Carl, or are these kind of stock and ready for? Um, well, these are all ready to go. Not, yeah. They're not actually stock. So these are all tested for hours. The grooves are all measured, um, which is a little different to production. We're just making sure that everything all confirms. So yeah. um, some of the tour stuff you'll see has all got this the stamping on here, which just signifies it's been tested. Um, all the grooves have been checked out and measured, so we know that they're all, they're all good to go. Okay. So these are all these are all heads that are just waiting to be built. So players will come in. Um, we've got a database just over there which we keep all the specs on, so players can we know what they want pretty much when they come in. So yeah. they'll just come in, new wedge, and then we'll build them from scratch. So obviously the heads are in there. Um, keep a drawer for the shafts. Obviously different stuff for different players. Um, this is just a standard S two hundred wedge shaft which Vokey uses, which he recommends. Um, and then obviously different selection of S threes, S fours. Would you find wedge-wise, Paul, that people, people are using different wedges, especially this week, because they've obviously been on the links courses and... Yeah, they might be looking for something a little less bounced this week. Yeah. Um, but what we tend to do over the year is guys now carry a couple of sets. So yeah. for these weeks, they've pretty much got what they need. Mm -hmm. Might be a few tweaks of lower lofty stuff, or lower bounce stuff, but yeah, yeah. They tend to carry a couple of sets of high, the high lofty yeah. stuff purely for that reason. Yeah. You know, I saw Will a few minutes ago over there, and I'll put a clip on that now. He was kind of grinding the wedge down, is that taking the bounce yep. off? Yeah, he's just, just fine tuning up with that bounce yeah. and that sole just to make sure it's good for this week, yeah. Okay, and that'll be a player who specifically said, I want this bounce Correct. on my wedge. But Correct, okay. you got it, you got yeah. it. Great. Uh, then we've got stuff in here, we've got lots of different grips, a selection of all sorts. Obviously, the Tour Velvet is still our most popular. Yeah, um, playing but we just, yeah, we, yeah, guys like it because of how it feels, how it performs in the cold and the heat. Yeah. And the heat. Also, in the wet, it's still pretty good, so that's a, a really popular grip. But like we say, we keep, we keep a selection of all different sorts, different colours, different compounds, ribbed round, all that sort of thing, just, yeah. to, just purely for the players. Which I suppose need. you have to cater for every eventuality with that, don't you? Exactly, yeah. we do, yeah, exactly. So then, all of it, all the machines in here are exactly the same as you use in the workshop back in the office. Um, saw, fell buffer, all the stuff on here is what we call the dirty side, so this is all yeah. extracted. All the extracts underneath, so all the dust gets taken away. Oh, cool. At the back here, these two grinders are where Will, which you saw earlier, was grinding some of the heads. Yeah. Um, just different grits for different sort of operations. So this is a, a rougher belt where we do the main part of the work, and then yeah. it just goes to a gradual, more finer finish, which we okay. finish off. Buff it up a little bit. Exactly, yeah. you got it. Um, obviously, Henry's putter bags, Scotty Cannon putter uh, bags, which are pretty cool. That's what everybody wants to see, isn't it? Yeah. So the Circle T stuff that's in there, the, which is obviously it's the new one, isn't it? Pretty cool. That's the new um, Scotty Cannon for this. He introduced it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, high MOI. That's it, you got Good it one. with the, the wings on the back of that, as they call it. And then, as I said, this side is where we look after all of the metals, so current TS products. These things have been absolutely fantastic, haven't they, on launch? They have, yeah. So that's a TS2, yeah. um, it's the more modern looking shape. So with the weight being out of the back there, is that something which you would kind of get a player on the range and decide what weight goes in or is it just... Yeah, so we're working on that just depending on how they want it to perform. We can yeah. change the weight internally of the head with using the rack loop, but also we can change the flat weight in the back of here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they all come into us in that raw state, so the weight's yeah. not in. The whole layer is to inject the rack loop, which we do again to just to make yeah. the head perform as we need it to. So that's TS2 and TS3. So again, all the heads are they're coming to us in their raw state, which is that. I've got one of these in the bag at the moment. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. And with those, have you have you particularly noticed a difference? Are players picking TS3, TS2 more? Is, is there a preference? Yeah, so part? we've seen guys switch back to TS3 in, in this current product. Yeah. Um, in the older version, the 917, it went to TS2, uh, to yeah. D2 as it yeah. was then, but yeah. they're coming back into TS3 now, yeah. yeah. I would say probably... 60, 40 in favour of TS3. Yeah, so it's it's just switched, yeah, switch, yeah, it's pretty, yeah. but it has switched back into three, yeah. 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 And then all this stuff on here, obviously we've got the different weights, so we've got um, the CG weight for the, the TS3, and then we've got the different flat weight for the TS2, which are those two. So we can change this weight now, we can change from being a standard weight to a draw fade bias yeah. by just changing the end, yeah. which is much easier for us in the production side of things, which is quite good. Yeah, so all this stuff on here, so we've got the driver weights, the fair weight, uh, the TS weights, we've got the hybrid bits and pieces again. And then all this stuff on here is the, these are the sleeves which you use onto the onto the driver shafts. Yeah. And the same for the hybrid, same for the fairways. Very good. Um, it seems very organised. It is, yeah. Too, it needs too to be. organised. It needs to be, it needs yeah. to be. There's a lot of stuff goes on. It's a busy truck. We look yeah. after um, 
I would say wedges were about 40% of the field. Mm -hmm. So we're looking after probably 200 wedges each week. Yeah. Um, and then... So I did a video yesterday with Jigger at Kings Barns. Okay. Um, and he came on, I think, to new wedges straight after... He did. ...after play. So did he get sort of that, like a little bounce option? He did. Well, Jigger's, Jigger's, obviously, his specs are quite unique. <laughs> um, I think his wedges are two inches longer than standard, um, which is it presents challenges for us because they're obviously heavy. Yeah. So we take quite a lot of weight out the back of them just to make them perform. But yeah, he... He normally plays a 6004 in the raw finish with a bit yeah. of heel relief. So yeah. for this sort of week out here, you know that stuff at the top of your head. Yeah, because we do quite a bit with Jigger, so we've done yeah, yeah. Quite, over the last few weeks we've done quite a lot of work with him. So, yeah, yeah. so he he switched into our lucky wedges. Few so here's a video of me holding Jigger's 52 degree wedge at Kings Barnes. That looks like the equivalent of my four iron, pretty much looking at it. <coughs> um, so then on this side, obviously for the metal stuff, we keep a. Again, a selection of the different shafts. We try um, to arrange it. So this is the graphite some money design shaft there, isn't there? It is. Popular shaft, this one for us, the yeah, DI Yeah, I've got stuff. one of those, actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then again, we just keep selections. So that's the graphite design. Um, Mitsubishi, the Tensei range, the orange, blue, and the white, again. As well down this side, Henry keeps all of his putter stuff in here, so... He... And the plus is kind of the holy grail, isn't it? The Circle T stuff is. It is. It is. So, as well as the putter stuff with Circle T, obviously, he, all the different weights in here, so different sorts of weights. So you've got the two different sorts, you've got the ones that go in the new port, yeah. and then the, the different sort that go back into a different style, the normal the mallet style putter this one goes into. And then he keeps a selection of different bits, so head covers. Um, How did the head cover become so prominent, do you think? I'm not sure on that one, you probably have to ask Henry on that, I don't know. I, I think it's just a brand that Scotty's done a nice job of promoting the Circle yeah. T stuff, so obviously the, the I think tour. I read that he knew it was cool when the kids started stealing them. Yeah, 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 that's exactly right. So he, he got all the... the the um, holes they put so they chuck them down the green which yeah, is yeah. quite cool um, he's even got various little bits of pitchforks and stuff like that so this is just a bit of a Aladdin's cave for Henry and then yeah. putter grips some of the super strokes that are obviously pretty common out there yeah these have taken off massively haven't they over the last few years and then he also keeps a selection of Scotty Cameron putter grips which is the different stuff he has in there plenty of grips this is just a measuring board. For, it's a little bit different to the measuring board we use for metals and iron. Yeah. So this is a putter measuring board that's, that Henry uses. So that's what we do. That's the back that's of the it. truck. Yeah, right. fantastic. And with regards to the stamping, I know so we'll do some stamping on the wedges. Is that something most guys do or is it just... Yeah, it depends on the player. Some guys want just their initials. Some guys kids want names. kids' names, yeah. girlfriends' names, nicknames, football teams, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. it's, just, it's just unique to them. It's turned into a bit of an art. Aaron in the US has done some fantastic stamping in the US. Yeah, yeah. And it, the guys come out here as well that we try to replicate some similar stuff. So it's just yeah. getting imaginative, really, yeah. using a bit of imagination to make something different. Regards to players coming on the van, I don't want to mention any names. Are there some guys that walk on and you think this is going to be a while? Um, no, I think we're pretty. They're pretty yeah, good. They, yeah. they obviously some guys are more challenging than others, but you know we're, we're here to help them. We're, yeah. we're making making tools for them to use in their their work. So Absolutely, that's what we're here yeah. for. So okay, yeah, so all good. Thank you very much for your time. No worries. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Okay, guys, it's getting mega busy on here now. The week's starting to take shape. I'm going to leave these guys to it. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. See you later, guys. Thank you. Okay everyone, and that is it. The Titleist tour van here at the Dunhill Link. What an experience that was. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. What did you enjoy the most? Comment below. The Scotty Camerons, the Vokies, the TS Range of Woods. Guys, I've been James Robinson. I'm not here at Huddersfield Golf Club. I'm here at the Alfred Dunhill Links at St Andrews on the Titleist tour van. See you soon.